and welcome to our Paris vlog. We've been here for about three days. Um, so much has happened actually. So because right this second I haven't announced that I'm pregnant, I feel weird saying it, but he's definitely out there. Um, and I just thought that whilst I'm here, of course I'll do a vlog. I'm gonna start off with telling, talking about something that I've been asked so much. I'm gonna shut this, because maybe it's uh, too noisy for you. No, it's dark. I get asked all the time where to stay in Paris. It's the number one place where you tell me. So we actually have an apartment in Saint-Germain, so we always stay there. However, we do stay in so many hotels for press trips, but they're super fancy high-end hotels, the, the best rooms that even we can't afford when we come here. So I can tell you my favorite hotels from the fancy ones, but usually when we travel, we are really good really good at finding the best hotels for the best price with the best amenities best location and we don't do that in Paris because of the apartment so uh, yeah so I'm not the best person to ask with that said on this trip he discovered this hotel which we just have for this for this beautiful balcony really so it has the eiffel tower here looks even better at night the balcony is really long goes all the way down there as a corner shot which you would have seen in my um pregnancy reveal video and we have this just for you know we just paid for one night just so that we could shoot here um and it is an amazing hotel it's quite dated but uh um, well this is the bed we paid for this hotel like we normally always pay for our hotels as you know even though we're shooting here um but the room is really nice that like you can see the price is something like it was 300 was it uh well 350 with the view and 250 without the view yeah and i i i think you could get better for 250 maybe because the rooms and the hotel is quite basic it's nice it is nice but it's quite basic and old um but you're paying for the the this balcony and this view so it depends what you want so and the location is really good it's like 10 minutes walk from chanel uh mayor's dior um what, what is it called art de triomphe like the triomphe next to the next to that next to that so it's a really really good location eiffel tower view balcony cute parisian but dated room and it is a really really good hotel so i'll leave that hotel link below they're really friendly when we booked our room as well so oh my arm is aching so what we're doing today we're doing the second half of the pregnancy reveal pictures it's not taking us that long but um i just curled my hair and it's i need to brush it out uh, but yeah, we're doing that today. I'm wearing a Jacquemus dress. <laughs> a Jacquemus dress, which I got in the South. So, so cheap. Um, and I just wanted... Anything I've been buying since pregnant has been dresses that I can wear after. Like, all through pregnancy and after. So, I'm definitely still buying investment pieces and not, like, one-off high street pieces just for pregnancy. And Yeah? Does that mean hurry up? No, this is me saying hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm wearing today, just with some Zara knee high boots that I also got in the south. So there's still loads of these left. No one's buying them, so I'll link that below. It's so comfortable, perfect for pregnancy, perfect for spring. I really, really like it. Um, and then I really want to go to the antiques market because I'm looking for a mirror for my dressing room. So I'll take you with me to there. We. And then the next two, three days, we are doing a work trip. Now this work trip, sorry, long intro. This work trip we've done twice last year. It's not to do with vlogging. And I didn't tell you or show you nothing. So I think in this vlog, I'm going to tell you. But I'm still unsure. You'll soon know in the next 10 minutes. So we're in Paris. This is the start of the vlog. We're doing our shoe. I'll leave that pregnancy reveal link below if you haven't seen it. I'll leave my first maternity haul that I've done. I'm so happy that I can be back doing styling hauls and not hide the bump anymore. I'll leave those links below. Um, yeah, and my friend Victoria is here, which you're going, you're going to see her. I think I don't think I've showed her on YouTube before. She's from America, so we have a very busy week, and this is the start of our Parisian vlog. Look at me. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> Do 
Do you like it? Do I like mask? Yeah. It's nice. Do you like your earrings? I can't see them. You look like your mum. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> do. Especially from the side. Show me the side. I think they're heavy. Uh, no, but they're about to fall, are they? <laughs> no, they're not. It's just because they're heavy. <laughs> so? It's just because they're heavy. That's what it feels like. Oh. You look like you like them a bit too much. It's pretty fun, isn't it? <laughs> Moving on When everything's gone It's hard to be strong Confusion in my mind So we are at the Nerve. Um, this is, I look really weird here. Um, Cafe Mali it's called. And it's freezing. I think they know, they can understand. Um, what's that drilling? It's freezing, I think we're going to have to go inside. I don't know what you look like Sonic the Hedgehog today. Mm -hmm. Is it the wind? So yeah, we're going to go inside, I'm starving. I'm freezing, I'm going to have to go home and get changed as well. Um, where did we get up to? We went for lunch at the Louvre, to that Cafe Mali. I had a burger that was £27. Let's get out of the way. It was like, that was, that's too expensive. And he had a pot for sure that was like a sliver. Sliver. You see that man? What? I still can't get over, I'll never get over how much Parisians stare at each other. I stare at people. Yeah, and he goes, does it even more. Um, it's so cold. Goodbye, I'll wait to the pub. Um, so we're back at the flat. Um, and you've just got to walk down there. And um, in this doorway. This is not my doorway. Um, I'm thrown. He's going for a, a pint because there's a lot of stairs in this flat and I want to get changed because I'm so cold. And then we've got the afternoon free, so we're just going to do what prisoners do, sit in the cafes. But Cafe Marley was okay. I recommend going there in the summer. It was too cold for us outside. And inside it's like nothing special and the food is not nothing special, I don't think. It's overpriced. Um, but I'm glad I went. And if I go back, it'll be in the summer. Um, everyone is staring. It's really sunny and bright, which is great for photos. And, you know, it's nice. It's much better than London. London's always gloomy. But it is so cold. But I'm gonna go and get changed. And then, uh, oh, how nice is this necklace? Oh, it's turned around. It's so beautiful, especially with this uh, chunky knit that's open. I really like it. I'll link it below. And this jumper's really been cosy as well. It's just my bottom half because I'm in a dress. No way to turn back time. My soul in need of remedy. Don't even know the enemy. I have a story for you. Oh gosh, it's wet. Ah, oh, it's wet. I'm just on the balcony at the apartment. Oh, it's lovely and fresh. So you're not gonna believe this. I can't even believe it. You're not gonna believe what happened. I swear to you on my Tallulie, Shalulie and Bambi's life, this is the truth. You can believe me or not believe me. It's the truth. I, can I put you on there? Oh yeah, that'll be good. So, last night we wanted to go to this cafe. Um, we always walk past it and I always want to go. Well, oh, this is my outfit, by the way. Um, and you'll see the rest later. So, we go there, six o'clock. It's raining, it's dark. We, it's too early to go home, too late, too early to go for dinner. So, we said, What should we do? So, I said, Oh, there's an Hermes at the end of this road. They're going to shut in half an hour. It takes 20 minutes to get there half hour for me. No, it takes 12 minutes to get there. It's going to take 20 minutes for me because I'm pregnant. So I said, oh, do you know what? I want to go in there and officially find out how you get a bag in Paris, an Hermes bag in Paris, Wendy. Um, because when I said how to get an Hermes bag in Paris, in my video, I have to hold that, I got, I would even say for some people, I got borderline 
had all heard this. They, some people weren't polite. And they were like, you should have all these Hermes bags and you don't even know them all. And I was like, yeah, well, I don't get bags in Paris. And um, they said, this is not true. And I said, well, my friend got one this this way two months ago, uh, two weeks ago. So, you know, it must be true. Just, it's annoying me. Um, so I wanted to officially go because about 90% of the people told me I was wrong. So I go in there. I had no intention of getting a bag. I have my absolute dream bags already. I'm so thankful for having the exact bags I want. I have seven, I have more than enough. And my ultimate dream bag I ordered last year. So there's nothing I'm so proud of the camera's gonna fall. It's like on a tiny little ledge. Um, it's a plant pot behind, don't worry. And there was no bag I wanted. Of course, there's endless numbers bags I want, but it's very expensive. There's nothing I wanted. I have no intention of going shopping in Paris. Haven't stepped foot in a Chanel yet or anything like that. Don't even intend to. Very happy with my shopping in Hermes. Didn't even want a bag. Categorically did not want a bag. Did not even ask for a bag. So we go in there. It is pouring down. It is like five minutes left to close in. We walk in. Average walk in. A lady says something to me nice about my Instagram and stuff. Um, then, <clears throat> then another lady said she liked my bag. I had like a, my Mo Silvest Constance on. And then I saw this lady, she was very smart, very smiley. And I said to her, do you speak English? She said, yes, of course. Um, I said, oh, you know, I'm, I know you're closing, but I just want to ask one question. And she was like, do you want a bag? I was like, no, 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 I don't want a bag. And then she looked at my bag and was like, oh, this is so beautiful. It's one of my favorite colors. And um, I was like, yeah, yeah, I love it. Anyway, how do you get a bag in Paris? I'm just curious. And she said, oh, well, you take this website. Um, I'm going to put up a little... Um, like close up of the card because it's on the doorstep, it's open, anyone can have it, it's not a secret and that'll be very handy for anyone coming to Paris if you've only got one day, you don't have a lot of time so this will be very helpful for you. She gives me this and she says you go on this website, you book an appointment for tomorrow. Obviously it's half six, clearly all the appointments have gone for that day and I didn't want one anyway. And I was like, I said to Paris, I was right, I said in my video that you get an appointment for the next day and everyone, like literally everyone told me I was wrong and she was kind of looking at us like what are you going on about and I was like that's all I need to know, thank you so much for confirming that and she was like do you want to book an appointment now? I said no, 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 I don't want one, I said oh we're busy, we're here on work because we are, I'm so busy today, tomorrow um, and then we're going so and then she said <coughs> Oh, well, there is another way that you can get it. Oh, I said, oh, there is? So this is where all the confusions happen. And she said, yes, you can go to any store in Hermes. So Rue Saint Honoré is the one where you get the appointment with this card. The, I'll leave it in the description box as well. Um, but you can go to any store in Paris and you can queue around nine, you know, before an hour before the shop opens and you get one. Paris is the most expressionate person on the planet. My back is hurting. I wonder if I can sit down. Can we just do it like that? I know I've got a pee here, but my back hurts. And um, she said, you can queue. And I went, oh no, I don't want to queue. Like even before I didn't have a Hermes bag, I'm not going to do that. It just ruins it for me, just a personal thing. I'm not going to do that. And Paris only knows the beautiful service we get where I email what I, all the whatever, and then I go and pick up my bag and it's glorious and the best service in the world. So his face was like, uh huh? queuing no and I was like oh no no we're not doing that I honestly I, I have an um, amazing shopping experience in London but you've been really helpful thank you and then she says to me so how many bags do you have and I, I couldn't think at the time how many I had and I also find it embarrassing so I was like I don't know she said what colours do you have so obviously I know the Hermes language I don't know anything any different so there I am telling her a green moment Togo 32 you turn 25 Togo um, and I'm talking like she stops me a quarter of the way through me listing. She says, come with me. So we're looking at each other like, where are we going? The shop is closing. And then she says, come at 10.30 tomorrow. This is who you're going to be talking with tomorrow. You have an appointment um, and you will get back. What color do you want? And I was like, oh, well, <laughs> you should have seen me. I was like, I'm like transformed into this new person. I don't even want a bag. I do want a bag, of course I do, but I honestly didn't even intend to, it didn't even cross my mind. 
I didn't even vlog before I was going in there. I didn't even look good. I had rained on hair. I just had a chunky knit, knit on and leggings. I really did. I didn't think I looked good. And um, I said, okay. So I took it and off we went. And that honestly happened. So here are the tips to get in a bag in Paris. I can officially confirm. Rue sent on where you go the day before and you get your appointment, which I've already given you the email. So you can do that well in advance now. Um, then you go for your appointment, you may not get an appointment, you might have to try the next day. You may get an appointment, they have nothing. You may get an appointment and they're offering you bright green and you did not want that. So that's how it works. You can go to any other store in Paris, you can queue and you can wait first come first serve. And I've seen those queues, they are gigantic and very stressful looking. But yeah, where I'm going, it's like 9.30, I really need to go, I probably won't have time for breakfast and I will tell you what happens. I'm absolutely not taking a bag that they offer me to resell or anything like that. I'm not doing that. I'm not taking a bag that I don't want. I have a few in mind. Here's that. But yeah, sorry, this whole vlog is gonna be me talking. I'm so sorry, I really try and make up for it. But what a story. I feel like no one's going to believe me. And even Paris was like, I really don't think we should be buying another Hermes bag. Like you just got the constant. you just got a killer. You are getting another one on order. And I was like, yeah, I totally agree, but come on like, let's go see what happens so off we go it's nothing to do with my pregnancy because i had a chunk in it on you could not even see it in this eye went like that um but yeah we're going i might come out with nothing but i cannot wait to tell you what happens and i'll do my best to um not just vlog my face we're here why are you wearing all black the same as me i know are you are you super yeah. excited no, i'm not rings don't even know what to do so excited um there's a queue outside it's not even open yet so that means we've got the very first appointment well i don't know maybe there's people queuing for their luck and we've got an appointment which we just jumped the queue up oh <laughs> I, I don't queue uh, do i that's what i thought I'm, I'm gonna tell you a uh light like, this way i'm gonna tell you a story whilst we're waiting that queue is stressing me out um so last night we're in bed do you remember this story? Oh, me, yeah. <laughs> and uh, just imagine, I can feel the ligaments pulling away from my stomach. I can feel my hips spreading and it gets painful, especially at night and today it is as well. And I said to him, oh, it's really painful. Can you um, rub my back? Because it stops me from panicking and it hurts. He says, don't disturb me. I'm going to sleep. And I said, oh, excuse me, what, monsieur? I will just lay here with my ligaments pulling away from my stomach and my hips spreading. And I, I said, basically said that. And he said, what was it? I need to get this right because I've never heard of this before. I had a sleeping window. This is my, it's very like miserable. This is my sleeping window. You are disturbing me. I am not going to be able to sleep. Well, yeah, if I miss the window, then I can't sleep for another couple of hours. Sorry? I did give you a little massage thingy. Well, obviously I demanded it. Not gonna let that one slide. And I can officially tell you, it was 20 seconds long. So we're here. Oh, we actually came from the other direction. So on the other side, there's a huge, beautiful Hermes. I'll show you when we leave. Um, and I'm meeting Victoria, because her husband's jet lagged, he's asleep. I don't know how she's even up so early. I would be so jet lagged. Um, so Victoria's meeting us for breakfast. Oh. But not the husband, not my ex, he's asleep. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see her, I'm so excited. She's such a wonderful person, best mummy vlogger ever. I was following her way before I even got pregnant, like a year, two years before, because her image is so beautiful and she does like her own style as well, not just babies. So we've got nine minutes. I need to put my earring in. You nervous? Well, I don't know. It's either going to be really good or really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's just like giving us a random appointment and then. Well, no, we have the anything. first appointment at the best store in Paris. Or maybe she's looked after us, isn't it? This is so nerve wracking. So we're in a room. We're in a room. We've got the best room. And um, I'll tell you how it all works, but we're waiting. It's stressful. I've gone red. <laughs> we're, we're all red. It's very stressful now. I'm sitting here waiting because they don't just bring out hundreds of bags. You have to tell them exactly what you want. 
We got a bag. We got a good bag. News. <laughs> oh, we did it. No, good news, we didn't get a bag. Um, so he said this will either go really well or really bad. I've got no earnings. It hurts for some reason. It went terrible. <laughs> But I was out of their mind because I never intended for a bag. There's nothing I particularly want. Um, and literally, we just got offered it. We, it was the truth. We, they just gave us an appointment. I didn't do the application. I didn't go online. I didn't even go in there asking for one. So literally nothing lost. And I was curious how it worked. And if they would have offered me something, yes, I would have taken it. But um, yeah, I was just uh, curious to see how it works. I finally know, not for me. Like it's so stressful. But you got offered stressful. bags, but all the easiest ones. I got offered to loads get, of bags. I got the offered bright colours, the huge no, ones. No, because some no, some people like them. Well, no, but like the neon colours are horrible. No, so, well, <laughs> some people like neon. But for me, I feel like you. It's very hard to get that appointment. We got the lucky first slot. Um, and I always was under the impression that they give you the bags that are like you don't look that you know I don't want I've always had that impression and that confirmed that for me and whenever I know anyone or know of anyone say they want a taupe they will get and they want an a taupe Kelly in a 28 they will say okay we've got a taupe but it's a Birkin and it's a 40 and they always end up getting stuff that they don't want or they want a black Kelly and they come out with a bright purple one. I've never known anyone to get the one that they want, so <laughs> the right, the I got she... offered like massive Birkin size 40 in purple. She was shocked when he said, no, I don't even, she said, I'll just show it to you because she thought you'd be interested. And you're like, I don't even want to see them. <laughs> 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 she was like, okay, this girl means business. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't need to see her, I don't want it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna resell it or anything, so. Um, she come in, I got off loads of yellow, there was yellow everywhere. Um, and the first bag she offered me was yellow. It wasn't yellow, it was lime, was it's it? It's called lime, but it's yellow. Oh, um, there's expert well, over even, here. We didn't even get to so see So she that. pulled it out and I was like, she's this is... Them out. I'm thinking, surely she's not bought me a big Birkin because I thought she'd literally put like loads of little Kelly or Birkins in there. And um, she says, so I have the colour that you like. Uh, but it's a Birkin 40. No, but then there was another bag. What was that bag? I've never seen it before. I can't remember what it's called, but it's my worst colour. No, 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 but the, the colour was fine. The gold colour. Oh. oh, yeah, the, 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 the purple Tell one. what I said. You said it wasn't elegant enough? Yeah, so I don't even know what it's called. I've seen no, it's it. A, it's a casual bag. It kind of like looks like said. a Birkin, sorry if it's loud, a Birkin morphed into a Kelly. That's nice. Yeah, it was like a floppy bag, didn't have structure to it. It's Togo, yeah, but it was like super casual and I was like, I don't like this bag. She said everyone's looking for this bag. She was like, this bag everyone wants, this is the perfect size, but I was like, I don't like it. But what is it? And when she said, I'll just show you this nine Birkin, you might like it. I was like, I don't want to see it. There's no point in you showing it to me. But she was super nice. It was an experience. I don't want to have that experience again. And, I'm, uh, and it was just a, you know, fun. And I'm not out of pocket. How do you say? Out of money pocket. Okay, we've had this chat about I talking am. English slang. I am. Slang, slang. In the money. What's this? Don't act like you're buying it for me. You go home. <laughs> I'm buying it. But I'm happy. I don't mind. Yeah, like we have saved money. And now I'm just going to go for breakfast, which is more interesting at the moment. Look who I'm with. Have you ever been on my YouTube last time? No, I've never been on your YouTube. This is Victoria. Hi. I already told them about you. Did you? Yeah, I said best mummy vlogger. I hope you said only the good things. Yeah, I did. You see, you'll watch it. I said best mummy vlogger. Have to go follow her. And um, we just had a lunch. Yeah. The longest Everywhere lunch ever. Well, the European way. Yeah. Well, Husbands are here. We're going to do a nice picture together and then, oh it's really sunny and then we're going to go for dinner tonight and we're both wearing all black and gold yeah. How funny is that? And we're here It feels like it never happened Maybe just a dream Could it be my imagination So it's a 
our last day in Paris. I, I didn't break my braces, but it's come a bit loose because I've been eating too many baguettes. Um, what did we do last night? Oh, I did take my camera with me last night. It's raining, terrible weather. Um, I took my camera with me, but we had such a lovely evening with Victoria and her husband. We went to um, like just a French restaurant, obviously French, opposite the Eiffel Tower. We were in there for like three, four hours. I forgot to vlog. I didn't even Instagram a thing. Uh, that was so nice. And then we're meeting up again later today, and then we're going home tonight. Um, and they're staying for a few more days. So what we're doing today? Today, okay, so this is me telling you. I updated you about the Hermes, didn't I? Um, so I'm a very light casual today. I have this blazer that I have. It just scared the life out of me. Fully really scared the life out of me. Um, um, there's a man looking at me. I need to stop freaking out. Russians don't stop staring. So today, what I'm doing is I'm going to a trade show in Paris. They do it twice a year. I've been lots of times for work over the last 15 years, but I've been coming since last February. I even took a picture like of my past. I'll try and find it. Um, they came last February, then again at the end of the year, and then now. And it is for a project and every project that I do, I do full heartedly, properly and everything has to be perfect and professional. So you are going to find out more uh, but when I come to Paris and I say that I'm here for work and it's not blogging, I'm going to these kind of trade shows where I'm up to date and learning absolutely everything you can imagine about fabrics, everything. There is like, I think nothing I don't know at this point. So I go, I meet all the fabric uh, designers and distributions across the world. Everyone comes to Paris. I'm really lucky that they do another one in, in London, which is actually so, so good. So I also go to that one in London twice a year. Um, and it's something that you will know about soon. Very soon, which is why I'm telling you like bits and bobs now but that is basically what I do there's another aspect of the industry that I work in but actually the one that I've worked in for the longest um, and I think that's all I should tell you so I think I'm gonna vlog a bit there so you can really see what it's like I think that's all I was going yeah uh, but that is what I'm doing I basically go to fabric um, trade shows and meet all these kind of people and learn as much as I can so um, I'm gonna get a mask because there's a lots of Nobby is so huge, it's a massive trade show. And there'll be there might be people there from mainland China, but apparently no one's allowed to go and there's been restrictions, but I just want to take precautions because obviously I've got to I keep forgetting that you know in this vlog that I am pregnant, so I'm taking extra precautions, mask, my own pen and things like that. So that's what we're doing. I better go because it's really noisy. But that's what we're doing today. Is it boy or is it girl? Or it could be twins. In this shop they have lots of things that say shoe or mon shoe, my shoe. So obviously I bought them all. Um, we are around Victoria's apartment but she's actually got meetings um, and picking up some things for her girls. We were planned on leaving at half 11, but I've just done an hour of shopping. Don't be fooled by any colours you see me picking because I cannot help looking at both um, genders. I just can't help it. And if I see something of another gender that's not mine, I buy it because so many of my friends are pregnant or got babies. Um, or I could be having twins, one of each. Who knows? Um, it's really nice around this area. Weather's really nice. I forgot to show you my outfit. Do you mind showing my outfit? No, he just said no, but no, whatever. So this is my like comfy outfit. I wore my painted bag because it's raining. Comfy trainers because we walk for hours. Um, my new acne scarf, best blazer on the planet. Got it in black and sock. And a totem, that totem polo neck that's really warm. And my Norman Klein. Leggings, I'm like showing my whole body and then I've got like my stretch mark on sit on. <laughs> um, and let me show you all the stuff that he's carrying. 
I'm sorry, I may, I'm making him carry all this stuff when we're going to the show. And there's another, what's that shop called? Shakadin? I love, Natalie's, no? Natalie's. Yes, I've never heard of Natalie's. I don't know if anyone's heard of that. But, oh God, I loved everything in there. It's quite like earthy tones and um, like the boy stuff was like black and khaki and the girl stuff was like muted pinks and beiges and their logo is a squirrel I think um, and like token colours so I really really loved that store um, and the funny thing is last night I was saying to Victoria oh I'm not I'm definitely not into brands you know like Gucci tees and stuff like I think it's really cute but it's not my style um, and I was saying to Victoria oh you know I saw this baby girl is like 85 pounds and I'm just not gonna buy that for like a baby that that is one month old and can wear three times so she kind of looked at me like wait till the baby comes and I've already done it literally the next morning I spent like 500 euros on my baby grows but it's just like all I want to do is shop for the baby like I don't even think of myself anymore and it, it actually feels really nice and he was picking out loads of cute stuff really nice um, but we're just waiting for our taxi to go we're a bit late now well we're not late but um, oh I've got my bow in my hair can you see it can you quickly show them my bow this is my new me bow and I've been wearing it every day I absolutely love it so we're getting the taxi and we'll go to the show where are you? Première vision, parc des expositions, ville peinte. You got all your baby shopping? So, back again. I'm like a hobbling pregnant person as well, walking so slow. I've got my lunch with me because so, uh, everything makes me feel sick, so I bought my own things. And uh, off we go. So there's the little um, preparing for the map. He just took a picture on his phone. And it's quite funny how he's like such a pro at all of this now. Like he knows what to ask. He sees how I do it. Oh. And then um, like if we're, there's so much to cover that we, I'll send him off to other places and he'll get all the information for me. And it's crazy to think that he used to be a stockbroker. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like, but you see all of this, this is just one room and it just takes ages, you have to really know exactly what you want, what you're doing, what questions to ask, um, yeah otherwise you won't get the most out of it. So now I need to focus and get in the zone. Oi, granny face. We were going for um, dinner and then Victoria spotted uh, baby clothes and the boys just had we to had wait to for us, but we couldn't not buy them. Bonjour. We Bonjour. didn't buy anything. You did buy stuff. No, <laughs> coming in. 